Ladies and gentlemen, join me into tonight's story as we embark on an adventure to a world where we did not need a gatekeeper. It all started as a group of delinquents who called themselves Shoyu. It consisted of Azuxo, Sifu, Hatsuko, Exodus, and supposedly another being whose name has been removed from the scriptures. It was then that the council now known as Cloud was barely forming as they ruled as both government and military. Being their respected soldiers, Tora, Rice, and a massive army would try to arrest this mysterious crew. They maintained the peace and order throughout the net sphere. What Shoyu did was what was supposed to be Cloud's job in eradicating the evils within this world, but they did it as vigilants. They were sided with no one. The leader of Shoyu, Azukzo, was considered to be the strongest and most evasive of the world, since none of the top soldiers were able to arrest him. Even the commanders, Tora and Rice, failed over and over again, and all he would use was a sword surging of electricity. The second in command, Exodus, had a love for his handgun, but followed the same way of the sword like Azukzo. He was the complete opposite of his excellent personality, being the most energized of the group. He was the main cause of the infamous crimes that Klaus are punishing. The third in leadership, Hatsuko, was considered the most brutal of the five. She would relentlessly beat the tar of her opponents before her crew gets harmed. Sometimes she would smack the crew out herself in Azuxo's place if they were acting up. Lastly, Azuxo's younger brother Sifu was the caregiver. A strange transition from what we see today. He was once a healer, but became more on the offense once he saw how powerful Azuxo has grown. Exodus and Azuxo would get into frequent quarrels. The main reason would be certain actions that Azuxo sees unfit or unnecessary. Exodus would always come with excuses or promises he could never keep. After a heast went wrong, Exodus has brutally executed a soldier of Cloud. Little did they know it was the daughter of a certain soldier. Azuxo banished Exodus from a crew for his deeds. Exodus was never heard from for about four years. Shoyu became the number one target on Cloud's hit list. Shoyu went into hiding for a few years. Hence crime started up once more reaching higher peaks. Cloud was able to manage, but through rough and violent ways. This made another crew rise to power. A rebellion known as the Kaibutsu clan. And who else would rule it no other than Exodus? Exodus was back, this time with a strange new weapon which seemed to have complete control of him. A sight to bring his shadows down upon his foes. Cloud had a new target. Shoyu came out of hiding, wherever they were hiding, to stand up against this new evil. Having no other choice, Cloud had to join forces with Shoyu in order to fight Exodus and his Legion of Darkness. The war lasted for about six nights until Azuxo grew tired of the pointless struggle. When all were sleeping for a peaceful rest, Azuxo snuck off to challenge Exodus himself. His younger brother Sifu followed but was forced to stay behind in the end. Facing Exodus, Azuxo sensed another aura from within, one he hasn't felt in a very long time. Exodus and Azuxo fought for 69 hours straight until Azuxo called forth the being. Jazu. Using both his and Jazu's strength, along with our logical indestructible forces, sealed Exodus away. But in exchange, Azuxo had to give up his own life to save others as Jazu took over. At least, that's what the scriptures say. Cloud had to subdue Jazu, though they could only do so every few years. For the next few years, a gatekeeper and guardian have been chosen to keep this ancient darkness away. Gatekeepers have been considered the descendants of Jazu, yet for some reason they have been born as female. Up until now, we had four guardians, Satori, Rice, Sifu, and this generation's Obuyo. The gatekeepers' names have been omitted from the records. Keeping the gate sealed is all this world can do to keep the evil Exodus stay hidden within. That was an awful bedtime.
amazing story, Grandpa. Yeah, Grandpa, it had a lot of plot holes. <laughs> Indeed, just like your mother did when she tried to rebel against Cloud. She was dumb, very dumb. Tell us a different story. Very well, very well. How about the most romantic story that involved Sifu and the last generation skatekeeper? Yeah, that one. Now that's a real story. <laughs> Settle down, young ones, as we embark on the loveliest adventure yet. <laughs>